When it comes to fall and food, what are the first things that you think of? For me, two things. One is game day appetizers and chili. Here in the States, we have two different camps when it comes to chili. The first one being chili with beans, and the other one, chili with meat. For me, I don't really care, but it's a big thing here, so that's cool. But for Mrs. Dude, she prefers when I eat chili, it's the chili with just meat, no beans, and that's exactly what we're making. All right, we start with our onion. Just gonna take the onion, cut it in half, and just slice it up. See that better? Just give it a nice slice. All right, now we got all the onion we need. I'm just gonna take some EVOO and put it in the bottom of a pan. Just like that, and we're using cast iron pan. We're gonna throw these onions in. All right, let's heat these up. We're just gonna put the onions over the heat source let them sweat a little bit, throw some garlic in, and then throw the meat down and get this chili started. I've got a whole clove of garlic here. So really what I want is just, I think I'm just gonna take two of these little bad boys, get them opened. Now usually I usually just use garlic powder or the already pre-done stuff, but I thought fresh garlic is always better. So let's give it a shot. Excellent. Two of the most beautiful garlic clove things you've ever seen. Our onions are looking great. I'm gonna turn this down. No, they're just starting to caramelize a little bit, and that's perfect. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the pure olive oil to it. Give this a quick stir. Starting to see some translucent onions already. Love it. I think it's time to put some garlic down. God, I haven't done this in a long time. Excellent. Get our garlic all stirred in there. I can't quite smell it yet, but it won't be long. All right, I can smell the garlic now. Make sure our heat is turned down. Let's get our meat on. Now, I already cut the two things of meat up. I figured you guys don't need to see that. You've seen that before. We'll get the first pound. It's actually two pounds. We're gonna get the first one started. Now I'm using 80-20 meat, 20% fat, and that fat's also gonna add flavor to everything else and along with the onions, and I shouldn't have to put any more oil into this. Put down our next thing of meat. and voila, let's let the meat cook. Well, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's give this meat a good check. Boy, the smell coming off of this. Oh, I love it. You get that garlic and the hamburger. Oh, so perfect. I'm not draining the fat off of this because I'm using it to my advantage, but I'm gonna put in three quarters of a cup of water. At this point, I'm gonna add some chili powder in and about one tablespoon to start. Give it a quick stir. Get that chili powder in everywhere. Next thing we're doing is one tablespoon of ground cumin. Now, of course, this is just everything just starting out. We can adjust flavors as we go. Put 
perfect. Wow, now you can smell this thing coming together. All right, it's about 10 minutes. Just want to give it a taste. Good, but I think it needs more chili powder. I'm gonna do about a half of a tablespoon. The cumin doesn't overpower the flavor. It's just the chili powder doesn't come through quite yet. Another thing too I wanna to add is just some salt. I'm just gonna give it three or four pinches of salt. Let it kind of do its thing. All right, let's let it sit for about 10 minutes. All right, so this has been simmering for 10 minutes. Now I'm just gonna add some tomatoes to it. And in this one, I'm just using fire roasted salsa style tomatoes. Stir them in. So you know that's just gonna add extra flavor. All right, let's let that simmer for about 10 minutes and then give it a try. I do think it's time to take our chili off because it's been simmering for 10 minutes. And look what we're gonna put it on. I made cornbread, super simple. You guys all know how to make it, it's a GIF recipe. It's good stuff still. Look at that, mm. the smell coming off of this. Oh my goodness. The color, I gotta take a bite. Tons of flavor, I'm not kidding. I really thought at some point I was gonna have to, have to add some more garlic in, but no. But that's according to me. I mean, if you want more garlic, put it in. You want more cumin, put it in, whatever. But it's good stuff. All right, let's plate it and put it onto our cornbread. And the winning number is number one, because that's the number one chili. Got some extra sharp cheddar cheese because hey, that's just kind of guy I am. Sprinkle a little bit over the top, some sour cream. However much you want. Give it a good stir. Blend it in there. Time to take a big old bite. Probably a little too much sour cream in that bite. But from what else I could taste, it was awesome. All right, now we're just gonna get the chili, the meat, and the cornbread. A little cheese. Holy moly. Absolutely amazing. I'm telling you, you're gonna be the hit at a party. You're gonna be hit anywhere with this. I'm serious. So good, man, I don't, I don't, don't wanna stop eating. That cornbread is perfect with this, but even without the cornbread, it rocks. Just so many cool flavors in there. It's so easy to make. Your wives are gonna love you. You know we're gonna have some bloopers at the end of this because it's me, I'm full of bloopers. I'm going back to eating. I'll talk to you later. Oh, remember, peace, the dude abides, and we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks, guys. Mm, that's good. It's been 10 minutes. Time to uh, take the chili. It's been 10 minutes. Time to take the chili off. Plate it up. That's right. Seriously, this is going to be the bomb. And you know the best part is? Your wives are going to love you. I think the first thing they're going to ask is, does this chili have beans in it? And you can say, oh, hell no, it does not. Make sure you double up on this recipe, though, because 
people are going to be hitting you up on it. Good stuff. Seriously, you know this is going to be good. We're going to add some... Seriously, you know this is going to be good. We're going to add some cheese to it and a little bit of sour cream. Nom, 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 nom.